Nine ways to wear a trench coat. Spring outfits I'm wearing right now. Most of us know that having a classic trench coat in your wardrobe can be invaluable for your outfit ideas. They're hugely timeless, really versatile, and perfect for this very transitional weather. To prove my point, I've got three of my favorites here that I'm gonna show you nine different ways to wear them. All the outfits are really casual, relaxed, very elegant. The sort of everyday outfits that I'm hoping you could easily recreate. So let's begin. So let's start with finding the perfect trench coat there are lots of options to choose from. Now, one of the key factors I consider is what I'm planning to use it for. So are you looking for one for the daytime that's super casual and very easy? Do you want something that's quite smart that will essentially be your work coat? Or perhaps something that will work for the majority of the year? I shall link my top favorites in the description box below for you to take a look at at the end of this video. But for today, I shall be sharing my outfit ideas with my soft green, my navy trench, and my wardrobe staple in the camel. The reason I love this weekday trench coat is down to that lightweight fabric. It drapes really naturally and instantly makes my outfits feel more relaxed. Now, though they describe the color as beige, I think it's actually more of a soft green tone. Unless I'm going colorblind, I really don't see any beige in that coat. Either way, I like the gentle tone. The oversized fashion trend is still going strong, so this kind of style would be perfect if you like that trend. It ticks that box and would pair beautifully with some oversized trousers or jeans, etc. But in this first look, I wanted to go with something fairly classic, but with that understated elegance that I love so much. So I've paired it with my organic cotton chinos, which are so soft, they actually feel very much like brushed cotton. And a heavyweight but simple t-shirt on my top. I've tied in that beige tone with my matching belt and mules, and added in another neutral with my tote tote to finish. It's an easy, breezy spring look that requires little effort, but makes me feel very put together. The newest trench coat to my party of three is this tailored navy one that I bought recently. Now I can't deny that this cotton feels more substantial than the other coat, but it was more expensive, so it's all relative, I guess. Though we're still not talking silly money, this one retails at 225 pounds. So although it is an investment piece, it was within my budget, and in my humble opinion, it feels worth the pennies. Now I could have done nine different ways to wear a trench coat with just this one because I find it so incredibly versatile. But I thought lots of you would have different shades in your own wardrobe, so I wanted to make sure there was something for everyone. So in this first look with the navy, I've gone with a Parisian style chic kind of outfit. Often my look of choice when I really don't know what to wear. Classic French stripes, ballet flats and a trench never fails. And it's a look I think pretty much everyone can recreate in some shape or form. Randomly, but I remember once thinking I would do London for the day in a pair of heeled boots. I wanted to cry by the end of the day, my feet hurt so bad. I think it's all the steps up and down in the tube that did it, but I literally had to ask David to meet me at the train station with a pair of trainers because I was in such agony. Finding ways to wear a trench coat shouldn't feel stressful. In fact, the more natural it feels, chances are the more stylish it looks. I place so much value on how an outfit makes me feel. It's really important and can make a huge difference. I know that when I feel comfortable, I tend to stand a little straighter, a little bit taller, your shoulders back. And on the flip side, when I'm feeling a little bit uncomfortable and maybe a bit conscious, I tend to slouch and almost fold in on myself. So the moral of my story is try and start with what makes you feel nice, not what you think others want to see it'll pay off in the end. And hopefully outfit number three illustrates what comfort really looks like. I'm simply wearing a camisole and floaty trousers, but both fabrics feel really light and breezy to wear. I instantly feel relaxed. What I love about a trench coat is its ability to polish pretty much any outfit. The sleeveless cami will keep me cooler on warmer days, and the linen trousers will be hugely breathable too. But finishing off with a camel trench coat whilst adding warmth it definitely adds a layer of polish to it as well. 
Just a quick mention, but I am rather chuffed with my new furniture that I got from Scandinavian brand by Crea. The table actually arrived the day after I received the chair, so I really should have waited to show you all. But how lovely do they look together? Very happy with my new set. I feel like it's made my office feel all light and clean and very minimal again. I've added a link to their website in the description box below. Nine ways to wear a trench coat spring outfit number four. This is my struth it's hot but I really need to look smart-ish kind of look. Sometimes in the heat I just can't bear to wear loafers as my feet kind of get all frustrated. So I'll reach for my sandals and opt for a trench instead to elevate my look. Essentially my outfit is just a pair of trousers and a vest but when you look closer at those individual items, it's the little details that really make the outfit feel polished. The trousers, first of all, although oversized, are tailored with those lovely pleats at the front, and that instantly makes me feel a little bit smarter. They're actually made from a really lovely organic cotton too, so up close you can see the quality of the fabric, which I think really helps overall. The vest top has got this very gentle bit of sheen to it, along with that stitching that adds a bit of detail and depth. The cognac tone of my sandals works perfectly with my handbag, and when combined with the trench, all those individual elements blend together perfectly for one relaxed but everyday chic look. Going back to my navy trench coat and to something I wore for lunch with a friend the other day. It was unusually warm outside, but not quite warm enough to wing it without a coat. Plus, I felt like I needed an extra layer to make my outfit feel complete. Now, I know some of you might take issue with the fact that my trench coat isn't the same length as my skirt, but in all honesty, it really doesn't bother me. I try not to overthink it. If it feels nice to wear, just roll with it and forget about any silly rules that some may try to drill into us. The navy trench softens the all black look and I like having that sprinkle of camel on my shoes. I did think this outfit needed just a little bit of separation, so I added my beige braided belt to break it up a little bit. It gives my waist more definition amongst the black and I like to get another texture into outfits wherever possible. I only added earrings so I could keep the vibe feeling really minimal and it's just one of those outfits that would cross over well for all sorts of different occasions. A khaki trench would work well with this outfit as well if you don't have a navy one, but I'm personally not too keen on camel and black together, so I would probably save that one for a different look. Now I can't remember if I've shown you this shirt properly yet, but it's so lovely it deserves a second mention if I have already. Now this is from a British independent brand called Novo London, and I can honestly say the quality feels absolutely beautiful. Definitely a brand to keep an eye on. So I've styled it here for those days when there's still a little bit of a chill in the air. Sadly, those days are all too often at the moment, but thankfully that's where a trench coat can really come to the rescue. This camel one is pretty heavyweight cotton, so it's probably my go-to for almost year round, I would say. I sized up so that in autumn, early winter, I can layer my jumpers underneath, and in spring or early summer, it would simply look a little bit oversized. Now, if you could only afford to buy one trench coat for your wardrobe, I would probably advise that you opt for it in camel. It's a classic, will never ever date, and if you save your pennies for a really nice quality like this one, it will shine through in your outfit ideas. Adding a straw bag into your outfits instantly makes them feel more spring-summer. It's about having that natural straw element that seems to remind me of the beach. And when paired with sandals and sunnies, I could almost be having a little bit of a window shop in the south of France. But alas, I am in my office in my little English village, so it's not quite the same, but a girl can dream. But being mindful of the items you add into the mix can really change the whole vibe of an outfit. If I'd used my numero un that I got from Pelin Paris, I'd have looked more polished. My tote bag is more relaxed, but still elevated but my straw bag always makes me feel more chilled in my outfits. And the same applies to shoes as well. Not only can it make a huge difference to your overall look, but how you feel and how you hold yourself at the same time. The trench coat in this outfit idea is just the floaty, relaxed icing on the cake. This is probably the smartest look I've shared in today's video, but still very much daywear chic. 
just something that would cross over well for the office. Though both the silk blouse and the trench coat are navy, I love that contrast of fabrics the soft and drapey against the neat and structured cotton. Really, in terms of trousers, there would be so many options that would work with this. You could go with navy, you could go with black, you could go with camel, etc. But I went with grey as one, these are my favourite smart trousers that I have at the minute, and two, I love that very slight sheen of the grey fabric sat against the mat of the coat. I would always really advise thinking about not only the tones of your trench coat outfit ideas, but also the textures. And with the latter, it's the more the merrier for me. Silks next to cottons, next to a knit, next to a leather bag, the sheen of a viscose and the openwork of a knit, the embroidery of a blouse even. That combination all rolled into one has a really handy knack of making your outfits look far more expensive than their actual price tag. To complete these ways to wear a trench coat this spring, sees me style my lovely camel classic with an old but perfectly formed summer dress. This is actually one I bought from Cezanne last summer, I think. And like we were talking about before with texture, it has that in bucket loads. Made from a beautiful organic cotton embroidery on glace, the beauty is in the detail. But having been made in such a timeless shape of a dress has meant that I can style it in so many different ways for all sorts of different occasions. The dress itself is actually pretty girly and very summery, but adding a lovely trench coat over the top makes it feel more sophisticated and elegant. The tailoring on the coat contrasts nicely against the pretty flower embroidery and adds a more contemporary but polished feel to the overall look. I'd highly recommend you try out this look with some of your own dresses in your wardrobe. Not all of them will work with a trench coat, of course, but I bet there's at least one in there that works perfectly that you might not have thought of. I really hope you've enjoyed my nine ways to wear a trench coat and all my spring outfits I've shared today. Don't forget to let me know your favourite in the comments section below. If you're not already subscribed, it would be really lovely if you'd like to. And if you did enjoy this video, a thumbs up is always greatly appreciated. Hopefully you'll join me on Sunday for more styling tips and outfit inspiration. Have a wonderful week, everyone. Take care.